Rest set. The moment, the only just can't seem to buy a win, can they? Well, um, I think everything that could go wrong at the moment is going wrong. But um, listen, I'll, I'll take the positives tonight. I thought it was a a better performance. Um, we were in full control of the game in the second half. Um, but when the chips are down, these things happen. So. Um, you know, sometimes you just have to hold your head and just, you know, just look at the stars because, it, you know, it's it's just one of them things one after another. But, you know, a point against Chorley is not the worst. But obviously, yeah, we know it's two points dropped for sure. You obviously changes to the the, the starting lineup, but then being hit with Gerard Bajrami's injury, 15 minutes in, causing a rethink. Yeah, you know, we are, we are carrying some serious injuries at the moment and um, listen, it's not an excuse, it's just the way it is, it's plain to see. We've got more players in the stands than on the pitch um, and this is something, you know, not, not, nothing to think about because they've all been contact and, and muscle injuries, uh, but it's where we are at the moment and you look at the team that finished the game today and my midfielder playing right back and my right back playing centre half and um, and then look at the bench and it's... Um, I wouldn't say it's worrying, but you know we are going into the business end of the season and we're we're really low on numbers. So um, you know it's not for the want to try to try and bring some bodies in. It's just not happening for us at the moment. As you say, you look ahead. You've got Curzon Ashton on on Saturday. That that brings to an end really all the sides have been in or in or around the playoffs for March. Um, and and I suppose you want to finish the month with a win. Want to win every game, Steve. And. Um, you know, I'm not bothered if we played the top five. You know, the the mid the, the mid table five and the, the teams at the bottom are still going to be as tough because um, they're all fighting for something. So I'm under no illusions that just because we played the top four and we haven't won a game, that the next four or five are going to be easy. Um, especially with the way we are at the moment. So um, no, we've got a really tough end of the season, a massive, massive ten games. I suppose you look at it, the fact that you know, sort of Harry has uh, you know, two draws and four defeats in the last six. Prior to that, that, that run has, has put you in good stead though, hasn't it? Well, yeah, it is, and we're on a bad run. And you know, I don't need to lie about that, we're on a bad run. Um, and that's why when the chips are down and you've got to fight and grind these one nils out because it does turn just like that. The whole place is very quiet at the moment. It's my job to get everyone lifted. I think the crowd's very quiet. We've got to give them something to sing about. I think the players are a bit flat. I think the whole club's a bit flat. We've had the highs this season um, and at the moment you can see there's a bit of a lull around the place and I can't have it. We've got to snap out of it. Yeah, so you've got was it, ten, nine, ten games left to the end of the season. Um, still everything to play for. Oh, massive, and uh, we look forward to next game on, on Saturday. You know, the performances have been okay the last week. We haven't got the points we wanted. But like you said, you know, we've drew a line after Gateshead. And, um, you know, we're, I wouldn't say we're fortunate. We were, we, were, we were closer against Fylde. We were a lot better against Spenny. We could have gone either way. Brackley, we fought to the end. Uh, and tonight, you know, we've lost two points. So, listen. Um, if you split them games up over the season, it, it works for you. But at the moment, it's all in or running into uh, into one, and we've just got to snap out of it and, and, and move on. But I'm not going to take any sulking from the football club. We've just got to move on and be positive. Is there an opportunity you're saying about with the number of injuries and everything that's going on at the moment? Will you be able to strengthen the squad potentially before the weekend? Yeah, listen. Before the injuries, I was trying to strengthen the squad. Unfortunately, players have gone elsewhere, and that's what you know. We can't compete with some of these clubs, unfortunately. Um, so it is for the want to try. I'm not going to bring kids in um, who aren't ready, who haven't played games with 10 games of the season left in a position that we're in. We've got to bring seasonal pros, whatever age they are, who have played games, are experienced and are ready to, to play, to play Saturday. Well, let's hope uh, that's the case and uh, hopefully the, the, the bad run of uh, results will end this week with Curzon. Well, I'm still smiling, Steve, so we'll go again, mate. All right. Yeah, and you mentioned the confidence as well. I mean, Yes, it was quite fragile in that it, it was it was lost kind of in, in the final few minutes of the game with, with Chorley scoring the goal, but there was a period there after the goal, especially after the red card as well, where the noise was there, the confidence was there, the ball was moving around. It's not like it's long gone, is it? It's very much still within the group. Yeah, football can change very quick, I know that. Um, I'm not going to get on a crowd, I think they've been absolutely fantastic this season, it's my job to pick them up. Um, when they when they are loud, um, they help the, they help the team massively. Um, but also, it works both ways. We've got to get them going. Um, and at the moment, on the pitch, we're just a little bit below under par. And um, everyone can see that. And co confidence is low, but it can change just like that. And um, I can't wait for that to change. And it might have been some kind of dogged one nil tonight that changed it. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Um, but we're another point closer to where we need to be.
you know, you've obviously struggled for goals in the last few games from that confidence point of view. You've got one tonight, and obviously pleased for Monty as well because his form has really come on, hasn't it, the last few weeks? Monty's been great, and you know what? We, we, he's played his third full game really because he came off so early in, in seven days, and we know how hard that is uh, for him, uh, having a lot lengthy season out. Um, so, you know, he's put in another good shift, he's got his goal, he's got his reward um, and I thought it was great. So, listen, he's got to be ready again to go Saturday because it's horses for courses now. And in terms of Gene, is there any word yet on, on how serious that one might be? I mean, it, it looked... I mean, yeah, we don't, it don't look well, does it? So, um, you know, it just, it just adds to the Matt Preston, the Nathan Cameron and the Cliff Moyo. So, I think I'll be going centre-half Saturday, the way it's going. So, um, um, best get my boots back out.